Welcome to Menschen in Portrait. Today's guest I don't have to introduce in detail. He's a megastar, he inspired generations, well known from Knight Rider, Baywatch, and sold millions of copies of his famous music albums. I'm very excited to welcome Mr. David Hasloff. Welcome in Graz. Thank you very much. When he was a kid, when did you felt the vision of becoming an actor for the first time? I, th I, I, I think I saw a show called Rumble Stiltskin, and I um, said, Mom, I want to do that. And the next thing I know is I was in a play uh, called Peter Pan, and uh, I played Nibs. And um, one of the boys, and when I'm, I did a, uh, at Wimbledon and, and, uh, in the UK, I did a panto. A panto is kind of a send up, and I played Hoff the Hook, don't you just love me? And I, I spoke like that. And um, I, I racked focus to this little boy, and this little boy had nibs on his, on his name tag. And it blew me away that, that, that all these years later, that I was still playing nibs. <laughs> <laughs> And when you decided to become an actor, how did your parents react? They reacted great. Yeah, they reacted. They, they, my father was uh, 100% behind me, and my mother said, uh, she said, you got it. I said, what have I got? She said, you got to start quality. You got it. And, and, she, and I said, what, what does that mean? She says, it means that I have to take you to every singing, dancing, acting, skating, everything <laughs> class. And, and she did. She took me to every class. And when your career started um, as an actor, what was the biggest challenge for you personally? When you started in oh. acting, becoming an actor, the what biggest was the challenge biggest? was was young and restless. You know, because I I would open the doors to the young and the restless, which was preceded Knight Rider, and and I was I did about 800 shows, but I would really get nervous. I would really like uh, get get uh, ill, and I, I would open the doors to CBS and go ah, and I. And I took a, a lady took me under her wing. Her name was Jeannie Cooper. And she took me under her wing and she made me good and she made me go from being Snapper, who was very famous, to, uh, to the number one guy on television. And uh, then I wanted to, uh, to get into primetime, which was soap opera and then primetime. And I got it into uh, Knight Rider. I was lucky. <laughs> so how came the decision to audition for a TV show with a talking car? Uh, it came because uh, I was on an airplane um, and the uh, director of, uh, of NBC was on the airplane and he looked back and he said, anybody who can take people away from slot machines deserves an audition because he was looking at me and, and women were coming and leaving slot machines and were coming over to me to get my autograph because I was on The Young and the Restless and he thought, you know, maybe, maybe we should give him a shot and they gave me a shot and uh, I got it. Um, how did you feel driving Kit for the first time? Can you remember the feeling sitting in Kit for the first time? Uh, yeah, I, w I was ill. I was, I was not I was a, a bit hungover, <laughs> and uh, I was uh, driving the, the Night Rider car through the darkness, and I, uh, uh, and I said, stop, hold it right there or I'll shoot, and I left the car in gear, and the, and the car ran over the camera, and so it was a bit difficult um, at that time, but I learned quite quickly and, and how important the show was and how important... Uh, uh, acting was to me. That's why um, this uh, the tour is is coming around and and the uh, the new series. The new series is really important to me because it's called Z Network and it's very much it's not David Hasselhoff, the star of Knight Rider. It's not David Hasselhoff, the star of Baywatch. It's David Hasselhoff, the actor. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I wake up in the morning as David Hasselhoff not as a star. I, 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 sometimes I wake up raring to go and sometimes I wake up not so raring to go. And so I really attribute 
Z network to to to, to me and, and and to the fact that I was able to pull it off, you know, and and to the Germans and and because the Germany they took a chance on me and and the the guys who did surreal dogs or dogs of Berlin, um, they they took a chance on me and and, uh, and when I saw the first script, I went, oh my God, this is incredible, and uh, I read it the first time and threw it across the room and hated it, and then about the sixth or seventh time I read it, I really liked it. As an actor, you were you were very successful with Baywatch, but then there they came a decision to take the series over as a producer. Was it a uh, hard decision for you? No, it was a really easy decision because it was, um, uh, there was a man named Frank Talbert who was uh, the head of uh, Fremantle and he passed away and he, was, he owned Fremantle and he was the one who took me under his wing. He had a big cowboy hat and cowboy shoes and, and uh, he had like boots on and he was like, he was uh, absolutely uh, instrumental in, in And, get, and getting me, um, and getting me Night Rider. I mean, I mean, getting me, uh, getting. He was absolutely instrumental in, in getting um, Baywatch. That's why the guys walk by, Baywatch to um, to fruition because he was the one who had the vision that it was selling overseas and that there's a possibility we could just sell it overseas and have enough money to make it worldwide. You're going on a new tour, tour next year yeah. in Austria. Um, what, is, what gives you the energy and the power to do these amazing concerts for audience where other people um, still retire and enjoy doing nothing and you have all the power and energy to go on tour? What gives you the energy and the power? People. I mean, when, when, when people come to see my show, I say, don't look at me, look at the audience. The audience is wild. The audience is crazy. The audience goes hop, hop, hop. At first they say, David, David, David. Now they say hop, hop, hop. And it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's an, if you come to one of my concerts, you're going to walk away singing. You're going to walk away singing in German. You probably do. Do, do it like country things for staying. And, and I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's an unbelievable experience because of the audience. The audience really, really enjoys the show, and I enjoy the audience enjoying the show. <laughs> your fans love your concerts, but when and why came the decision to change or to go from acting to music? I, I haven't. I haven't. I, I was, I'm still doing. A television series, a tour, a movie. I'm doing a tour, a movie, and, and hopefully the second season of the network. So I'm, I'm, I'm not doing either acting or singing. You can do both. So I'm doing both. And then come the Broadway. Mm -hmm. How came this step on the Broadway? Broadway was success? Uh, basically something I wanted to do for a long time, and then I ended up doing Jekyll and Hyde, which was the hardest thing. I've ever done, and uh, uh, you can see it on uh, YouTube, The Confrontation, which I play two characters at once, and uh, it's quite, it, it's, it, it's tough, you know, and, and the people who do Broadway are seasoned actors, and they're really, really good, and they're really good at what they do, and they get very little pay, and they, um, uh, the same way with, uh, um, the West End in, in London, it's pretty much the same, and um, and I've gotten to, to to work on Jekyll and Hyde with Frank Wildhorn. I've gotten to work with Mel Brooks. You know, Mel Brooks came to me to opening night of the producers, and I said, he said, uh, let me give you a note, and I said, give me a note, and he said. You do the voodoo, you do so well. <laughs> and I went, wow, that's Mel Brooks. My generation um, followed your career beginning from Night Rider, Night Rocker, Looking for Freedom, Baywatch, and your amazing concerts you are doing right now. But in between, there were harder times as well. What gave you the power and the strength to get over these harder times and to c c come back with an amazing comeback? 
You know, there were never were any hard times. There were, there was, you know, there were, there were times that were just uh, normal. I mean, what happened to me was in my in my home, and it, and it was private. Mm -hmm. And 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 if it happened to you, and it happened to your wife or or someone else, and it was private, and then you would you would fight for that, and I fought for that. And um, I fought for the privacy, and uh, I w and you know, and you it's life. And your fans love you for your comeback and for your yeah amazing amazing work. Um, what is your important message for young people who say I want to become successful, I want to become um, a star, or I want to follow my personal mission and my personal vision? My my um, advice to the young people is to get in the game, to get involved in television, get involved in theater, get involved in movies, get involved in anything, whether it's riding a bike, whether it's producing, whether it's a PA, whether it's anything, get involved because there's a possibility you might be discovered, there's a possibility that you might do really, really well and to get involved. One very exciting question for me, the, the last question is, um, we talked about the past, about your future plans, about your concerts, your music, your shows and your television series and your new projects as well. If in 100 years from now a young person asks, who was David Hasselhoff, what made him so special, what should we answer him? He, that he was an entertainer, that he was a very, very good entertainer, you know, and that uh, <laughs> Johnny Carson had had uh, on his uh, uh, tombstone been there, done that, and uh, I think that's what I'll have is been there, done that, because it's uh, to me it's just normal. It's like it's normal, you know. It's like if a guy I wouldn't know how to repair a sink. I wouldn't. Have, I mean, if 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 the the dishwasher breaks down. I get a new dishwasher, <laughs> you know, and, but I know how to entertain. I just know. I just instinctively know how to make people happy. And um, hopefully you'll come to my tour and hopefully you'll see my, I will. I will. my, uh, my series and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you'll be happy. Wenn dir unser Video gefallen hat, dann schenk uns einen Daumen hoch. Wenn du Fragen an uns oder unseren Interviewgast hast, dann schreib uns gleich in einen Kommentar. Auch aktuell produzieren wir spannende und inspirierende Videos. Um keines zu verpassen, abonniert am besten gleich unseren Kanal.